So from the last video, you might remember I was starting to put a shelter up, but between Storm Barra and starting a new night job, I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to. But it's a case of prioritising between getting footage or getting a job done. But as you can see, I'm keeping nice and warm, and I did manage to get some form of shelter up. So I hope you enjoy this shorter than normal video, but stay tuned to the end where you can see the final product and the fact that I will be able to work in all weathers now. And let's see what I can get up to now. So I did have a brilliant folding table that did come in handy, but it finally gave up the ghost. I didn't realize how bad a condition it actually was in. So I'm gonna save that and see if I can use that elsewhere. But for now, let's just get this sort of set up. I was also very lucky as well, as I didn't have to take the push pit off, but the pulpit did have to come off for the post to be able to go in. And also, all the bolts actually just came undone. I didn't have any tricky situations with that. But with that off, it's now definitely time to get this roof on before I let more water in. I started with the center spine of the A-frame by scarf jointing a load of 2x4s together and it seemed to work quite well, even though my woodworking skills still need improvement. Now when I put up the A-frame, I didn't really have time to film as well, but let's have a look anyway to see what our finished product is. Now you may be wondering why I'm going to such extreme lengths to build a frame out of 2x4s like this. Well one, I managed to find someone that is selling 2x4s at a really good price. And two, the tarpaulin, I can't really control the quality of that, apart from spending more money on one. So I wanted the frame to last, so I could replace the tarpaulin without ruining the frame. Now I did have some situations where I managed to get some advice from boat neighbours on how to build over a next door neighbour's mast. But there's also some new things I've done, like these bird's beaks, I think they're called, or bird's mouths, um, to support the A-frame. And there was a bit of thinking behind everything, but I didn't go too far with my woodworking because I just wanted to get the structure up. So it's a case of compromise between fancy woodwork, as you can see, not that fancy, but fancy woodwork, or actually just getting the frame up. So I kind of got the frame up. Now before I even tried putting the tarp on, I first had to cut off all the sharp edges from the end of the posts. And then once that was done, I put a paddle attachment on my angle grinder and then ground down all the 2x4s that didn't have a smooth round edge. And also the ends of those posts. And here we have it, my Christmas wrapped boat. How very festive. But as you can see, the tarpaulin is up. I've just used some strips of wood to secure it down as tight as I can. Although this tarpaulin seems to want to stretch. So I don't know how long this tarpaulin is going to last, but at least I've got the frame. So it's a lot easier to put a new tarpaulin on. But I've been pretty happy with the result. I think it looks quite good and so far it has kept the rain out a little bit of condensation inside but that's my own fault but as you can see from the inside after doing all of that work I've made a complete mess of the boat so I think what's next on the schedule is to give the boat a nice good clean and then get set up in a cockpit ready to start building the inside of the boat so I hope you enjoyed this and Cleaning will only take a little bit of the uh, beginning of next video, but we should be back to schedule. But stay tuned to next week, where I actually might actually start making some bulkheads. But thanks for watching again, and don't forget to like and subscribe.